What do you all think about the weekend double standard, which means any healthy habits thrown out the window come weekend? Hmm. Dangerous business. Well, because yeah. it's time to let Dangerous. loose a little bit. I mean, I never have a drink during the week, so if I'm going to have a drink, it's on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I'll challenge that because we know that alcohol in moderation can be good for you, but it's spread out over the week. You're actually better off as a man having one or two drinks each and every day then you are waiting for the weekend well, and then having another 10 martinis. Well, I've seen <laughs> you have 10. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but I actually think that, yeah, you let go sometimes on the weekends, but isn't the weekend also a time where you have a you have more free time to maybe make a healthier meal? You should saying. rejuvenate, you should recharge. But yeah. I, see, I always see the weekend as the time where people think, you know, oh, it's my yeah. weekend, I'm gonna go crazy, and they blow their diet, they blow exactly. their ankle. And Jillian, the research <laughs> is pretty clear that uh, people who uh, maintain a consistent diet over the seven days are twice as more likely to maintain a healthy body weight than people who only diet for five days and then go hog wild for two. So it's better to be consistent. So maybe you have a weekend mm. night where you're going to go out to dinner, you're going to mm. have a great time. That's, of course, that's fine. But the point is, don't, you really don't want to have too much of a double standard come the weekend.